Right, so we're now going to hook up our domain name to point to this server so we can actually serve it via the domain name rather than the IP address. Now remember in the last part we looked at the Nginx config and we saw that we have instacademy.com as the site name. Now if you want to only access this by the IP address and you want to skip this part, just go and update your Nginx config uh, like we did in the last video and you can just carry on with the rest of the series. But if you are interested in hooking up a domain name, we're going to look at how we can do that now. So we're going to need to do this from DigitalOcean. So if you head over to DigitalOcean, over to your droplet section in the control panel, you'll see all of the uh, servers that have been created. Obviously, Forge creates a DigitalOcean server or a droplet. So once we're over in this section, then we can do pretty much whatever we want with our droplet. It's just a normal DigitalOcean droplet. But what we can do is head over to this DNS section and we can actually set up the domain to point to this droplet. So we're kind of doing everything outside of Forge now, but uh, it makes sense to know how to do this anyway. So we're going to go and create a new domain. So we have this add a domain section. I actually have my domain open just here uh, within the uh, registrar I've used. And I already have my name server set over, but we'll discuss this in just a moment. So over on DigitalOcean then, we type in the domain name that we want to add. So it's instacademy.com. And then we go ahead and choose a droplet. So that's Instacademy. We click Create Record, and that's going to go ahead and create that for us. And there we go. So we now have uh, the name servers here that we need to set. What you're going to need to do is whatever domain that you've used, you're going to need to point your name servers to ns123.digitalocean.com. Once you've done that and it's propagated, that domain will actually point now to this server and you can actually access your uh, site via that server. So if we look at doing this now, we just go over to instacademy.com. You can see that this now works, whereas before it didn't work because we were only allowing requests from instacademy.com to be served. So we've now set up a domain name on our server. Again, you don't have to do this, but it's worthwhile just knowing how to do it if you need to once your project is complete and you want to release it to everyone.